find a comfortable seat here, whether you're raised up on a pillow or a block, just find something where you can make as much, take up as much space here and land your palms just gently in your lap and roll the shoulders down away from the ears a few times. Just come to settle in seated meditation. Let's actually bring the back of the hands down, lifting the palms up. We'll begin with a kirtan chant. So this connects our emotional and physical being with the divine source above us. When times are feeling a little unknown, a little uneasy, a little unrestful. So we'll connect our thumbs with our index fingers, then our middle fingers, ring fingers, and pinky fingers. And we will chant Sat-ta-na-ma. So the mantra is Sat-nam, and we will chant this out loud together. So sa ta na ma all right so allowing your hands to land allow yourself to find that nice tall and comfortable seat closing the eyes allow your drishti to focus internally directing it to the third eye the center between the brows this area that awakens your insight your intuition, your knowledge source, opening this realm into the unknown. So let's begin here with our mantra. Sa ta na ma. Sa ta na ma. Sa ta na ma. Nice and rhythmic. Sa ta na ma sa ta na ma chanting out loud sa ta na ma 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 sa ta na Ma, sa, ta, na, ma. Now let's begin to whisper the chant to ourselves, still connecting and alternating the fingertips here. So silently whispering to yourself the mantra sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Continue with your breath. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa. Allow your fingers to release. Just allow two orbs of glowing white light to be released from the palms. And allow them to float upward and outwards. Just creating a giant shield, a giant orb of energy around you. And shrouding you in this prana. We'll take a deep breath in through the nose. Lines were out through the mouth. Again, deep breath in through the nose. Lines were out through the mouth. The last deep breath in. And sigh. Begin to lift the shoulders up towards the ears. And turn the chin side to side, releasing through the head and neck. Just drape the fingertips to the left and the right, releasing through the thoracic spine around the ribs. And reaching the fingertips up towards the sky, 
spread the fingers, lift the gaze, reach up, root the sitting bones down, land your fingertips behind you, roll the chest forward, reach up and walk your fingertips in front, chin comes to your chest, bow down, take five deep breaths in. For four, for three, for two, and one, walk the hands back towards you. Bring our palms back into our lap. Just set a gentle intention for the self here. Noticing any sensory sensations. Noticing what the mind is wandering through as it explores through the body any feelings of unease, simply acknowledging that. And again, coming back to visualize that white streaming light into the body, traveling to all of those places that feel a little bit sticky. Bring the palms together in front of the heart, bring a gentle rub to generate some heat, generate some friction. Rubbing faster and faster and faster and faster and then slowly draw the palms apart about one inch and two inches, three inches until the palms are one feet away from each other. Just notice reverberating energy and pulsations between the hands. Bring the palms over the eye sockets and blink the eyes open. Wipe your palms down, your face, your chin, your chest, coming down your shoulders, registering yourself back in your space. We'll meet on our hands and knees, coming into a tabletop here. So bring your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, and allow yourself to move through a few cat cows here. So on your inhale, lift the tailbone, belly softens, shoulders back, chest rises, look up. Exhale, curl the tailbone, press through the hands, lift the shoulder blades to the sky. Inhale to lengthen, reach the heart forward, look up. Exhale to curl and round, send your heart upwards. Inhale. And exhale. You can bring some gentle movement here by shaking your hips out left and right. Gaze over one shoulder and then the other. Add a few neck circles here. Maybe even add a lion's roar. Inhale through the nose and exhale. And come back to a neutral spine. So gaze is between the thumbs here. You're gonna send your, oops, send your right heel back. So draw the toes down. Heel points towards the back of the room, and then reach your left arm forward. Turn the thumb down and reach back behind you. You can bend into the leg and grab a hold of the right foot, kicking the foot into your left hand. Press into your right hand to open through the chest and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release your arm and leg back forward and back. Then curl your left toes under, plant your left hand down, bring your left toes behind you, press into your left foot, reach your right arm up, and then send the fingertips towards the front of your mat. Find a little bit more length here, press into the ground. Inhale. Exhale, draw your right elbow to your right knee. Inhale to reach. Exhale to curl. Inhale for four, exhale, inhale for three, exhale, inhale for two, exhale, inhale, reach long, exhale to curl, bring your right hand, right knee back down, and just allow the hips to sway side to side. Now let's reach our left foot back, heel to the back of the room, toes facing the ground, reach your right arm forward. 
Level up the hips here, and turn your right thumb down. Sweep your right arm back, maybe bend into your left leg, catch a hold of the ankle or the foot, then press into your left hand, roll that right shoulder back, and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Right hand comes down, reach that left leg long, curl the right toes under and bring the toes off the mat, Press into your right hand, lift the left arm up, and reach the fingertips to the front of the mat. Fine length as you inhale. As you exhale, draw your right elbow, sorry, left elbow to your left knee. Inhale to reach. Exhale to curl. Inhale for three. Exhale. Inhale for two. Exhale. Inhale, reach long. Exhale to curl, bring your left hand, left knee back onto your mat and just sway the hips side to side. We'll bring the knees as wide as the mat, toes to touch, walk the fingertips forward, land the forehead down, come into a child's pose. So let's make this a little bit more active as we press into the fingertips, lift the palms, roll the shoulders down away from the ears. Tuck and curl the tailbone under and breathe, really Softening into the third eye. Breathe into the back of the ribs for five, four, three, two, one. Press into the palms. Walk your hands back towards you. Press into your left hand. Reach your right arm up. Thread the back of your right hand underneath the left arm and walk your left fingertips forward. Come onto the right cheek. Really feel the stretch in the back of your right shoulder here as you press the hips back in space and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Press into your left hand, reach the right arm up. Right hand comes down. Inhale to lift the left arm up. Thread the back of your left arm underneath your right. Come onto your left cheek. Walk your right fingertips forward. Press the hips back. Breathe into the back of your left shoulder blade. For five, four, three, two, and one. Press into your right hand. Lift the left arm up and slide back into your tabletop. Let's curl the toes under. Begin to send the weight forward and send the weight back. So really allow yourself to permeate, ground down through the palms and sink the weight so the hips are right over the heels. So you're pressing into the palms when you shift forward, pressing into the toe mounds when you shift back. And the next time that you shift back, begin to press into the toes, lift the knees, send the hips up and back. Bend the knees more so you're pressing your belly towards your thighs. Now begin to rock the weight side to side, allowing your tailbone to shift to the right and the left, just releasing tension in the low back. Take a deep breath in. Lions roar out. Ripple forward, come high on your toes, shoulders over your wrist and your plank. Tap the knees down, lower all the way onto your belly. Bring your fingertips wide off your mat. Come onto the tops of the feet. Roll the shoulders back. Come into your cobra. Slowly ripple down. Again, inhale. Look up. Exhale, slowly lower. Last time, inhale. Slowly come all the way down. Bring your palms to either side of your low ribs. Curl the toes under. Press back up into your table. Shift the weight back, lift the knees, send the hips up and back. Downward facing dog, take a deep breath in. Lions roar out. <sighs> Shift back forward, come back onto your hands and knees. Now let's come to take a seat. Hero's pose in Virasana. So stacking shoulders over your hips, your hips over your heels coming onto your shins. So you can always sit up on a pillow if you'd like. You can also add extra padding just below the knees here. Or you can also bring your seat in between the heels. 
So sitting up nice and tall here, really allowing your sitting bones to make space. Plant your left palm on your heart, right palm on your belly. And really feel and tune into alignment here as you breathe in, finding a little bit more length through the spine. As you exhale, you're grounding down, rooting down, finding your connection with the earth. Inhale. And exhale. Take five more deep breaths like this. Slowly bring the palms down into the lap. back to your intention. Gently blink the eyes open here. I'd like to share a passage that I read that I thought was very honoring of the times. So the book is called The Universe Has Your Back by Gabrielle Bernstein. And the passage that I'm going to read you here is a prayer from St. Francis of Assisi. So this is how it goes. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace, that where there is hatred, I may bring love, that where there is wrong, I may bring the spirit of forgiveness, that where there is discord, I may bring harmony, that where there is error, I may bring truth, that where there is doubt, I may bring faith. That where there is despair, I may bring hope. That where there are shadows, I may bring light. That where there is sadness, I may bring joy. Lord, grant that I may seek rather to comfort than to be comforted, to understand than to be understood, to love than to be loved. For it is by self-forgetting that one finds. It is by forgiving that one is forgiven. It is by dying that one awakens to eternal life. So I hope that brings a little bit more inspiration and connection to your day. I bless you all wherever you are watching from. Namaste.